everything. Mm -hmm. Like soon as he, soon as I picked him up on the crime scene and first got my son back from not seeing him for a whole month, almost mm -hmm. a whole month, mm -hmm. he said, "Daddy." Okay, man, dead. Jakarta dead. He, this baby said that to you. Yep. He laying on the ground. He was not moving. You know, that broke me instantly. Like, you, you, you did that in front of him? Why? Come on, man. That's traumatizing his brain. Like, he got to grow up. His brothers, who he played with every single day, he knows them. He loves them. Why would you do that? I want to know why. All I want to know. Serious matter. Um, I just left um my cousin in the house mm -hmm. with the with my kids. Um, she just left my kids in the house when I came back from work. Mm -hmm. And my kids, two of my kids are dead. What what am I? What do I? What do I gotta do? They dead. She left them dead in the house by themselves. Oh, okay, ma'am. Where are you now? I'm in my house. She left my door open. My baby boy, my oldest baby boy, is the only one that's here. The only one that's alive. She left. She let them left. Um, 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 ma'am, I can't even talk. This is so serious. I'm so scared. I don't want to get locked up because I was at work. Okay, ma'am. I, I understand that you're scared. I completely understand, but I need to get some help out there to you now. Can you tell me where you're located? I understand that, but can you can you please help me? Like, can you please tell me? Like, I don't want to get locked up because this is not my fault. I had just came home from work. The mother, Lamora Williams, told police she left her kids with a relative at around noon and returned home late in the evening to find the one and two year old dead. But police say that's not true. The boy's father tells us Williams video called him and showed him the gruesome scene. Equally disturbing, the father says his three-year-old son saw his mother allegedly kill his brothers. He talks about his brothers, you know what I'm saying? He know what happened. He talks about it all the time. You know what I'm saying? You always calling me right. when things are going bad. Like, you don't call me when everything's going good and you're around your so-called friends that got love for you. I got love for you. Right. But I'm not finna just be... You're not finna just be saying that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not finna be doing what I'm supposed to do on your time. Right. You know, so she got mad at me because, you know, I had to step I had to step back and tell her what was really going on. You know, mm -hmm. anybody who knows Maura, she don't like nobody to tell her nothing. Right. So, you know. 24-year-old Lamora Williams was there for a status hearing ahead of her trial, which is set to begin in January. Police say Williams killed one-year-old Jakarta and two-year-old Keontae Penn by putting them in a hot oven last October. Then police say she video called their father and showed him their bodies. Shortly after the incident, her family told Fox 5 that Williams had ongoing mental health issues. Oh, well, in school, you know, she was in school and, you know, I was kind of a you know, hothead, so I wasn't in school, but mm -hmm. I met her through a mutual friend and, uh, you know, everything just clicked, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I never noticed, you know what I'm saying, what was going on. Cause, you know, we was young. We was adventurous. So, you know, you know, it clicked when we uh, when we first met. And uh, it, 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 it was good. You know, I loved it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. we, we we clicked when we first met. Right. And uh, on into the uh, birth of our first child. You know, after that, it got a little rocky, you know, and um, mm. it's just hard. It's hard. So how many children did y'all have together for people who may not be? Three. So three children together. Developments, a mother accused of killing her children and leaving them in an oven is preparing to fight for her innocence. Channel 2's Matt Johnson live in downtown Atlanta. Matt, prosecutors revealed more than a dozen charges against her. And she remained quiet in court today as all 14 disturbing charges were read aloud. Prosecutors say she may have burned her own children to keep investigators from knowing how they really died. Lamora Williams stood silent in front of a judge Monday accused of murdering her own two children and leaving them in an oven. She stared at a prosecutor as he read the 14 charges against her, including two counts of murder. A grand jury indicted the 24-year-old mother last month for the deaths of her two-year-old and one-year-old sons, Keontae and Jakarta. 
Police found the two boys in an oven October 13th in Williams' apartment in southwest Atlanta. Her family members told us at the time that Williams felt overwhelmed as a single mother of four. When I saw that mug shot of her, I knew that was not my little sister. Police say Williams first said a caregiver was watching the boys at the time of their deaths, but police later ruled that out. Williams pleaded not guilty Monday through her attorney to four of the 14 charges. The other charges, including murder, will be addressed at a separate hearing. At the time of her arrest, her family was concerned how long she would last in jail. I just came from the jailhouse to let them know to put her in suicide watch because she's going to kill herself. Now, Williams will be back in court next Friday. Her attorney filed a demurrer motion this morning, which means that they could be challenging most of the charges, including murder, in court. Alive in downtown. Oh, your relationship, did you ever have like a hint that? She might be going through something mentally, like over right. the, over the course of time when y'all was growing as a couple. Now you know I know her mother and her father very well, so you know they always told me that she had, you know, mental illness. You know mm -hmm. when she was younger since birth, but I never really, I never really was like okay. She's really mentally ill until the death of her father in 2014. Like mm -hmm. 2014, I found him dead. You know, <sighs> we woke up. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was, yeah. It was like a, you know what I'm saying? Another horror movie. You know, we woke up. Everything oh was good. God. She went to work, and you know what I'm saying? I found him dead inside. You know his room. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and and my son wasn't probably nothing but like you know two or three months. So you know. Mm -hmm. After that, when she found that, you know, how she found that after that, uh, it was just worse and worse. It got it got worse over time every year. Like, every year after 2014, mm -hmm. it got worse and worse. So what were you seeing? Like, was it arguments? Was it yeah, her just time, going through things? She was going through things at the death of her father. Uh, you know, arguments, you know. So and, she and her father were close? Yeah, very close. That man did everything for her. You know right. what I'm saying? It was it was a lot of nights, you know. Mm -hmm. She'd be in, you know, in the streets, didn't have nowhere to go. Right. It don't matter who she would call, he's gonna come get her. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's the only, that was her backbone. And when she lost him, she lost the world. And you know, wow. that's the only person right then and there that can, you know, put some put some knowledge in her mind at that point. And when he left, you know what I'm saying? It was just me, you know what I'm saying? I, I tried to, you mm -hmm. know, keep my family together. Right. So, you know, when when he left, she left. I just came home from work. Yes, ma'am. I just came home from work. Okay. Ma'am, the, the first thing that I need to do is get some help out there to you. I understand that you're upsetting your They've been in here dead. Like, it, it, it's not, it's no way in the fuck. She left my baby dead. Okay. And I don't have no way okay. to reach her. If you if you're not sure if you were at work, ma'am, listen to me. If you were at work while this happened, then the responsibility is gonna fall on your sister if that's who you left them with. Okay? Okay, hold on one moment because I'm gonna also get EMS on the line as well, okay? Yes. Hold please. on one moment. Yes, ma'am. Stay on the line with me though. Hold on one moment for me. Okay. Please. Yeah, the last conversation I had was October the limb. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it, we we was in a heated uh we was in a heated argument. That's why you said she told you to come over. Uh no, nah, yeah, she told me to come over and um I said, you know, I got to work, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh it's just crazy, man. It's just so crazy. I never thought she would do something like this. And you were telling us you you know, we just heard your um your son, and you really working hard to try to help with that, that memory because he just said something uh, to us in the room or to you. So, you know, I like I said, he knows what happened. He was there. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I try to get it far, far off his, his mind as possible because he talks about it, if not every day, every mm -hmm. hour on the hour by his brother. And he asks about his mama too all the time. He say, Daddy, we going back to mama house? I said, we ain't going back to mama house. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Ain't, ain't no more going back to mama house. You stay with me now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. So he asked about his brothers, too, all the time. He might, you know, he, he, 
he'll, he'll get, you know, I try to sidetrack him and, you know, get some toys around him and, you know, more babies that come around, my, my cousins and, and, and my kinfolk that come over, you know, get them somebody to play with and, and stuff like that, some toys or something, because right. if you're not doing that, he, he's going to he, talk He just sat there and said it. Like, exactly. I, that's so. not what we want to hear this baby say, you know, but it's it's embedded in his head. Yeah. What happened? He he saw everything. Yeah, he saw everything. Mm-hmm. Like something before, 11-11 was the horrifying video call. And, but she called, the first time she called me was probably a couple minutes before that. And she was telling me what happened, but I didn't believe her. So we hung up, and that's when she called me back and showed me proof what was really going on in that house. You know, I just take it one day at a time. I got to be strong for Junior. He's all I got left. <laughs>